y'all <laughs> see that that's an empty trailer you know what that means uh other than um you know on a positive note it means the boat's launched not that we're stuck on the side of the road <laughs> but, uh, the boat is launched we're over here orange beach alabama gorgeous place check this out look how clear the water is and this ain't even super clear either it can get beautiful out here but see all the little fishies swimming around look at all them got this laughing gulls over there laughing at us because uh the seas say around two foot they're laughing because we know it's not <laughs> if you know you know y'all let's get on this boat and go do some fishing there we go step on with me and if you didn't know already my name is steven welcome to bam saltwater fishing y'all it's gonna be a great day hope you can join me sit back relax and let's get out on the water y'all check it out we just made it almost 40 miles offshore we're working our way towards 40 miles and i'm actually going to do some high speed trolling for some wahoo this is going to be fun it's a great way to cover some water let me show you this tackle breakdown it's going to seem kind of complex but it's really not right here is a shimano tiagra 50 wide reel with some 80 pound mono top shot and plenty of braid backing on a star handcrafted bent butt rod all the way down to a black and purple islander with a little squid body and a weight and then a big old hook there check that out but i definitely want to see if we can get a wahoo on board today let's get this joker out there and see what we can catch on this big old setup i want to make sure it's pulling straight no tangles there we go and then that heavy lead and you definitely want to leash your rods always leash your stuff so let's let out a lot of line Okay, there's about a hundred yards of line out. There is a big old dolphin. Oh, there it is. Ah. That was cool. Y'all have been trolling for about 21 miles with not a hit. I want to reel in my trolling lure. Don't you love the sound of that Tiagra? <laughs> and start bottom fishing. Wow, look at that water. That is practically blue water since we didn't get anything trolling let's drop this jig down and see if we can catch us a grouper this is a 300 gram johnny jigs with twin assist hooks on each side i'm running a 50 pound mono top shot about 10 foot of it to a siegler small game narrow slow pitch reel and a star plasma 2 this is a six foot eight inch medium slow pitch rod let's get that sucker down and catch us some fish to take home I'm glad I brought out some heavier jigs because last time I did wasn't prepared and it took forever for that jig to fall down. I am running 30 pound braid main line. It may sound a little weak for this type of fishing, but it's not. You have little resistance and as long as you have a long top shot, normally you'll be good. Mm. There's our first fish of the day. Ugh got some pretty heavy weight to it what the heck did i just catch really well i just went through all that trouble to catch some grass no this is a bunch of line wow that's a bunch of fishing line actually yeah because there's a crimped leader right there well at least we can get this out of the water take that home and throw it in the trash it's got some coral growing on it kind of looks like see that throw that back well, I caught fishing line, y'all. <laughs> I guess, uh, I don't know if that counts for something, but look at the little growth on there. You can tell that's been down there a while. Let me throw this in my trash can and get that jig back down. Mm, there's one. Okay, yeah, that's a fish. I just had to see if it was fighting back real quick. See if I can get it up faster. Mm, mm, mm. That's a long way to go. <laughs> what are you? I see you down there. There's some color. What is ya? Almaco Jack? Yep. Check that out. Just got a nice Almaco Jack. He's gonna go home with us. There's no limits on these things in terms of size. They taste really good, kind of like a pompano. But that's a nice one. Let's throw them in the cooler. What I like to do on these fish is spike them. Hopefully the camera will pick it up. But take your fish spike cut through that brain and that pretty much puts them out of misery and out of pain there'll still be some movement because of nerve endings but they don't feel the pain 
and then I'm gonna take this knife, cut these gills, so it can bleed out, just like that. And then that will be shoved in ice, bleeding out, it'll be nice and fresh. So here it goes again, let's drop it back down. At least we have a fish on deck. Not quite the grouper I'm after, but it is a fish. I was reeling in my bait uh, to put this rod up because the reel seat's acting up. Now I just have something pretty big. And I bet that's gonna be an amberjack. I bet it is. Oh yeah, that reel feels like it's about to slide back off again. And I have no clue how deep I'm at right now. If I can get this in, that'll be nice. Get my jig back. Well, first of all, find out what it is, then get my jig back. But I'm in a lot of pain right now because I'm gripping onto this reel like crazy because I do not want it to slide off the rod again and go into the gulf. I guess we'll find out what it is. I'm gonna assume it's gonna be an amberjack. It hit when I was reeling my lure in to put this rod up. 60 feet. I see it on my depth finder. Mm. 40. Come on. Mm. Yep. Oh no, wow. That's a freaking stud grouper. Is that a gag though? I don't know if that's a gag or not, but I'm gonna have to put that in. That is a stud grouper. I thought that was an amberjack, it's a grouper. Check out the size of that grouper right there. Look at that mouth on the jig. One of these hooks are kind of straightened out. So I put a lot of pressure on them, but that's why it's good to have assist hooks like that, multiple. Because when you're pulling something up this big from 300 foot of water, you're gonna put a lot of stress on gear. But that is an awesome grouper <laughs> on the jig. I wanna drop that jig back down again. That was awesome. Wow, I would have thought that was an amberjack, not a big old grouper. You never know. Had to put some new assist hooks on the rear because those were straightened out. But I'm gonna get that jig back down. That sucker put in some work. There we go. Another fish on the jig. Uh, still 100 foot down. Hey, come on, man. Let's see what you are. Don't be a jack. Don't be a jack. It is a jack. <laughs> big old Almaco jack. Yeah, a big old Almaco. I'm gonna keep him too. There we go. Nice Almaco jack. I'm excited about that. These actually taste pretty good too. So he's gonna be spiked, bled out, and thrown in the cooler just like I did the other one. It's a nice fish. These are hard fighting fish, they're fun. So I'm gonna drop that back down again. There's the bottom. Choke her up, big. Mm. Mm, come on, come on. Way down there. Woo, this is tough y'all. Fun. Exciting, but definitely tough. I'm gonna try to get them closer to the boat. See it coming up. Uh, oh, there's a big shark behind it. It's another big grouper. You know what's funny is he had somebody else's leader in his mouth with a, with a circle hook too. Check that out. Luckily, I was able to get him up with the jig. Check out that grouper on the jig. That is awesome. What a big one. Look how big his mouth is. Wow. And like I said, he had somebody else's leader and circle hook in his mouth. Must have broke him off. No match for that jig and the slow pitch rod, though. Such an amazing trip so far. Now, I'm going to high speed troll on the way back home till I hit about 20 miles and then I'll head in. But this time I'm going to be pulling the blue and white islander here. Let's get this trolling lure out and head on home. Man, 
What a wet ride on the way back. Straight up quartering C. I have 26 miles back. I want to go ahead and pick up a little bit. I haven't got a bite in a long time. I'm going to pick up my high speed setup and start heading in on plane. Paul just made it back and even though it's practically summer, I am completely soaked and kind of cold. <laughs> that was a miserable 40 miles back. Good gracious. But um, that's what happens when you take a bay boat not designed for offshore and go offshore. So it is what it is. I'm just glad to be back. Whew, that was tough. All right, y'all guess what? I got another guest on board. He's been on here fishing with me before and it's a lot calmer and we're actually dry this time. Oh yeah. <laughs> we're uh, I'm back out again. I didn't get to keep those grouper yesterday. Got a couple of Almaco jacks, so we're gonna try to get redemption. Starting out trolling, got a uh, got a lipless crank on that one, and then an Islander tracker on this one. We're gonna troll for kings, and then head out and do some bottom fishing and jigging. See if we can take something home. So sit back, relax, let's get back into some fishing. Got my slow pitch set up with one of these little squids on there. This is that Nomad Squid Trex. Here we go. Oh, fish off. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the real. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Dude, is it Monday or something? Story of my life right here, man. Trolling motors dangling. Reels dangling. What else? Actually, I'm not going to ask that question. All right, y'all. This is not fun. I mean, it is fun. Don't get me wrong. But... Uh, but this isn't practical right here. Hey, at least I don't have to worry about him getting stuck in the trolling motor prop. This is too much excitement for the day. <laughs> Dude, how far down was it? It's <laughs> a good size one. Yeah. It's pretty. You mind bringing that choker in? Yeah. <laughs> so I can set this reel down. A little bit heavier. Great. Yeah. <laughs> How did that even happen, man? Did it break or just come loose? It just came off. Y'all, check out that amberjack right there. Heck yeah. Had a little malfunction with the reel and the rod. <laughs> but he liked that squid trek, so we're going to have to get him back there out of season. Unfortunately, like a lot of these fish out here in the Gulf, so we're going to jet him back down in the water. All right, here we go. He gone. All right, I'm dropping down this ridgeback jig. There's one. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, got him. Wonder what this is gonna be. Fight's a little different than on the slow pitch. I like them Almacos. We catch a few Almacos, those are pretty good. They taste kind of like a pompano dust. There's my wind on. That might be an Almaco. Yeah, it is. Boom, we got a keeper. There we go. Those are good eating right there. So we're gonna take this AFCO fish spike and put it out of its misery. Right through the brain. It may seem grotesque, but it's actually a very humane way. Now you will see this fish continue to move, but that's just nerve endings. It's not feeling any pain. And I'm gonna cut right under the throat and bleed it out. And now that's a spiked and bleeding out fish. So like I said, you'll still see it move, but that's just nerve endings. That fish shouldn't be feeling any pain. More humane that way and the meat tastes better. Those them things are good. Oh, you got one? Oh, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> Get that joker up. Heck yeah, dude. Make sure my knot don't break this time. Oh, you should be solid. That's just positive reinforcement. <laughs> Let me reel this in, I can help you out if you need. Oh, never mind. Oh, <laughs> we're doubled up. These things are insane. Well, I was reeling up to help you and then he just got smoked. <clears throat> uh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I see color too. What you got, Jack? Yeah, it looks like. They're fun, aren't they? Yeah. Oh man. Is it a keeper? No, AJ. Man, that's a cool fish, isn't it? <laughs> you got him? Yeah. All right. I'm going to try to work mine. Work mine up here. <laughs> what the 
heck just happened? <laughs> I think he took your jig back with you. I'm trying to bring mine up. I'm just over here chilling on the gunnel. Mm. Wow, that's a good one. About the same size as yours was. Yeah. Yeah. See if he'll spit the hook. Yeah. No, no boat flipping. No boat flipping him. This is fun here. That kind of sucks. Yeah. Ugh. There we go. He took your jig. That sucks. He must have got you in the structure at least once or He's something. Got a little frame yeah. Dang. Well, I got mine up. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you got to see it. That's all it counts. Yeah. I got plenty of them Ridgeback jigs if you want one. Y'all know they're awesome, AJ. I was reeling up my line to help Malik with his. He had another one same size, and this one decided to hit. So we're gonna get them back. That would be a good one during the season, but they're not in season. They are loaded out here though, so it's pretty fun. So here we go. These are pretty hardy fish too. They can handle the fight as long as you get them back pretty quick. He gone, man. So here we go again. Nomad Ridgeback 160 gram jig. Let's drop it back down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Golly, man. Uh, uh, this is where I like having it on conventional tackle because <laughs> you get that torque. Oh, that's a good one. You were fast pitching. Yeah, I was high speed jigging. Uh, you got one <laughs> we tripped right when you said i don't think they're going to hit a jig anymore wow this is a powerful fish dude you still on yep. heck yeah man get him out the <sighs> i'm just trying to get some line on mine <laughs> uh, oh big dolphin behind us what is it i haven't seen mine yet Okay, I see him now. Yeah, yours is pretty, pretty tough, so. <laughs> Dude, these mine just has to. Ugh, I can't boat flip him. Oh, oh. That's a good. That's a good. Oh yeah, you got a baby AJ. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so look at the size difference on these jacks. So both are not giants, and this one's not a huge one. This one's definitely not. But it can almost <laughs> eat him. <laughs> we're gonna get ah, we're gonna get these back and see what else we can catch. It is. Oh dang! I told you. <coughs> were you fast jigging this? I was just reeling it in just to pick up my jig. It's just the magic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I was reeling it in to pick up my jig and um because I was gonna drop it down again. And he just smacked it. AJ, kind of look like a tuna from that angle, don't it? Yeah. <laughs> With the colors. Pretty fish. That is pretty, man. Um, that's fine. I think I can. Thank you. I'm going to lift him up and. Well, I know where the ridge is at. I'm in the ridge. Oh! That's right. <laughs> right behind us, yeah. <laughs> where <laughs> There you go, bud. Right, I'm going to drop this jig back down. We just hopped over to another little reef. Nice, calm day. We can run wherever we want. I think they're jacks. This other spot we moved on to just got some big ones on too. So I just had to drop a jig down, find out what it is. Y'all go like down below if you like seeing jigging videos like this because I enjoy doing it. It's fun. Oh, until they, until you get a stalemate like that. <laughs> mm, sometimes you just got to do a clover leaf around that coordinate and you'll find it oh there's another one below them there we go what you got over there Malik oh the first red of the day that's actually surprising yeah no we didn't catch a single one over where we were first Heck yeah. Oh, this one's a little bit bigger. Oh, I say that. <clears throat> Dude, this place is stacked with them. Oh, God. That thumb drag, bass fishermen know about it. There he is. That's a pretty one. 
<sighs> they are. Yeah, how dense they are. Oh, that's what I like right there. Hey, you got got a bottom set up? Yep. I'm curious to see what you're catching. This was all fish bites. That's all, isn't that cool? Ah, they turn. He's good. Well, at least the sharks haven't been bad. You can kind of take your. <laughs> yeah, I say that. Oh, dude, that back finger is burning. It's a red. No. Big bee liner. That's about what we want right there. Yeah, I'll check it out. Got a nice bee liner. That's another one for the cooler. Heck yeah, that's the first bee liner today, isn't it, Mallet? Yep, first one. Cool. That's a good keeper right there. These things only have to be 10 inches. That's a great specimen one. They taste so good. Heck yeah. Here we go. Let's see if I can get another bee liner. Malik's over there jigging for whatever he wants to hit his jig and land it. <laughs> yeah. Is it going to come up any time today? I think it is a red. Yep. I would have been a keeper in season. See that? Thank you. All right, y'all. Let's use the descending device because he is bloated. See how that's protruding and his stomach's blown up. So he will not swim down on his own. This is what I did with the grouper yesterday that I was trying to show y'all, but for some reason, then camera wouldn't. So let's take our, I don't know how well you can see this, but we're gonna take this little sequelizer. Clamp on. And then we got our weight and our rod and let's send this joker down. And I got it set at 50 foot. So it should release by the pressure at 50 foot and that fish will be healthy and be able to swim another day. I don't feel it on there anymore. I think it's gone. You can go get these at return them right. I think return them right .org. You can do that free class and get you one. And it's proven to help with catch and release on these reef fish better than venting see and you reel it up and it opened up and that fish is down there and should survive good and i just have it on a little short kite rod and a pin senator because i fish out here so much that this works for me but if you just have a spare rod with a little snap swivel you just drop that sucker down on there and it works <laughs> there he is i see him nice jack Boom! Are you going to get them on deck? <laughs> you want me to hand line them for you? You got them. <laughs> Ain't it insane, dude? <laughs> it is just nuts. Mallet got an awesome little AJ. Those are perfect fun size. So we just came in a little closer. We were catching a bunch of amber jack, which is fun, but we got kind of wore out and we can't keep them. So let's set out the deep diver for some kings and then islander. Y'all, that was a pretty fun day. So we actually are coming back in. We didn't catch nothing on the troll, but I think uh, you have a lot of fun out there. Oh yeah. That was our plan was to get out on a calm day and actually find something to pull drag. Yeah. And uh, every time Alec and I decide to go out, it decides to be like four or five footers. Today ended up nice, nice day. We just made it back to the boat ramp. I just dropped Malik off to back the truck up and load up. What a fun day of fishing. Y'all, if you enjoyed catching like this, and seeing an exciting jig and you can go subscribe down below if you aren't already if you already are subscribed you know i say this every time i appreciate you so we'll see you on the next bama saltwater fish video don't forget go check out bamasaltwater.com i have a lot of tackle in there right now and that helps support the channel but i appreciate you for watching we'll see you on the next bama saltwater fishing video i want to thank the good lord up above for everything he does for us we'll see you later